Okay, I'm just starting to have one of my breakdowns again because none of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense. And I'm tired of people's excuses. And somebody has to be the one to get out there and do this. Everybody can't be the one that says, I don't use a pager. If you said, based on the results that you're getting, I think that people should avoid it. Every, every dog training organization out there should be telling these people, this seems to be a major breakthrough. This seems to be a major breakthrough. Granted, it's 20 years in the making, but based on what we're seeing. Oh, hi, Richard. I, I just, honestly, I'm about to fucking snap. For these people, Every organization out there, am I wrong, Richard, should be saying, based on what we're saying, we need to at least explore this option. Now, don't use the pager. It freaks them out. And then go out of their way to make videos saying don't use it. Do not explore this option. Stay on the constant option. Y you think these fucking charlatan trainers are fooling Richard? I don't think they are. <sighs> They're in a room, a 10-foot room, Richard, with a 40-foot long line. If you said that's not a red, not a red flag, that's, that's like landing a paper airplane with a fucking Navy jet guy. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be so bothered if they just didn't go out of their way to say not to use it. And then this association of balanced dog trainers who keep a bunch of adult bullies as foot soldiers. These are these people's foot soldiers. Roddy Kirk, Michael Emons. I have no respect for you, Michael. None. Learn to be brave that you cannot stand up to these people. You're a soldier and a policeman. What the fuck happens if ISIS comes, Michael? You say, I'm afraid to even stand up to what I've now noticed are a bunch of fucking shit fucking trainers who don't know what they're doing. But these are my esteemed colleagues. And even though this woman went out of her way to help me, I'm not brave enough to stand. I'm a soldier in the Queen's goddamn fucking army, Michael Lehmans, a soldier in the Queen's army, cannot stand up to a group of charlatans led by Roddy Kirk, Nikki Butler, fucking garbage, 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 Adam Spivey, John Reed, Danny Wells, Jay Gray, the list goes on and on and on and on, and your group and your bunch of adult bully foot soldiers, send them on, Michael. I told you you were on thin ice with me. And knowing that you got your goddamn foot soldiers out there bullying me. Rebecca Booth, she's in your group. Death threats. She's going to stab me. <sighs> and you're a policeman, Michael. 52 years old. In the Queen's goddamn army. And you're not going to stand up to these people. And you're going to tell me you're going to go on and have a dog training career doing what those people do. Roddy Kirk doesn't know what he's doing at all. He's following Sean O'Shea. How much more of Sean O'Shea do you need to see? And do I need to explain? Before you can see, these dogs are nothing. One dog after another. Afraid, 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 afraid. Afraid. You're not going to keep fooling people with afraid dogs. Anyway, that's, I told you you were on thin ice, Michael. The Queen's Army. You Brits ruled the world at the barrel of a gun for 300 years. Ask anybody in India. You people ruled the world at the barrel of a gun for 300 years. You bloodletting bastards. And you cannot stand up. You're bailing out like Dunkirk is what you're doing, Michael. I can understand why Churchill said don't send anybody to help those people. Leave them on their own. You need to say right now, I am leaving your group. I'm going to get with the other Mike and we're going to start a motivational training association. 
that's gonna go, that's gonna sweep Britain. You people in Barbara Woodhouse, it's ridiculous. That's all I can say. I don't have any respect. I'm the least person on the planet that should be brave. But I stand, if you think I get up and worry that these people are going to rip my work apart, everything they've ever said has nothing to do with my work. This work cannot be torn apart technically, and that's what matters if you really want to train dogs. Not I want to be in a little online Facebook group, a, an association that's requirements are you pay. Now we're going to go to India. We're going to get these people's money to let us let them in on our secret e-collar knowledge. Roddy Kirk doesn't know what he's doing. If you want me to get Godfrey to tell you that, I will. The Queen's mother fucking army and the fact that the Brits rule the world. We think of you people as brave. I'm not going to say it again, but you people would all be speaking German if it wasn't for us. So stop it. Tell these people stand down and goodbye. How would your life be worse if you left this association? Elizabeth in six weeks has all her dogs doing everything I'm doing. I, I'm sorry, Michael. And if you want to come and talk to me, I, I will take this video down. But this is how I truly feel. This is a policeman. This is a soldier in the Queen's Army. And this man will not stand up to a group of charlatans, Nikki Butler, Roddy Kirk. They're all terrible. How much more of these people's work do you need to see? Do I need to sit in slow-mo and say, look at him hitting with constant? Look at how shut down it is. Before you say, I'm done with these fucking people, I will start a motivational dog training because that's what I want for the people of Britain. Because Brit the people of Britain are not buying this. We're going to use constant to save their lives, and here's a dead sheep to prove it. Their work is so remedial and lacking in detail, it's startling. Nobody could figure out. I, I can't figure out what they're doing. Anyway, that's where we're at. Oh, hi, Temis. I love you, Temis. <laughs> I do. I do. I want you to make more videos, but I do love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's, that's where I'm at. And that's, if you want to come to me, Michael, if not, this is going to go online. Because that is how I feel. This is someone I took my personal time to video chat with and to help them get a better result because they weren't getting a better result. And I told him when this Nikki Butler went online, I don't even know this woman, his esteemed colleague, on and on and on on Muzz TV saying, oh, she's mentally ill. She's clinically insane. Come on, mob. Come on in. Bring in the foot soldiers. Bring in the adult bullies, the Rebecca Booths and the Samantha Baileys of the world, the duck-faced selfie girls and their little cunty language. Bring them in and we'll all say she's crazy, crazy, crazy. And then it all backfired on it, didn't it, Nikki, butt-ass? You useless. You've been in business since 2016. You're about yourself. is full of anecdotal misinformation. Who cares about you, though, Michael? It's, 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 that's, that's what bothers me. If a fucking soldier and a policeman isn't even willing to stand up to these people, you're going to have another ever how long you people are able to hang on of adult bullies attacking anybody. If you said, well, they're not like that with the pure positive crowd. When, when the pure positive crowd attacks them, they not, aren't like they are with you. They're real nice and say, pure positive. No. That's what they do to anybody. They attack Prince Harry's wife and call her racial slurs. So if you think that I take these people's attacks on me personally, if you said, what would be an attack? It, the fact is, my work is a fortress that they can't penetrate. But they should want to get in. <laughs> that's the truth. Anyway, Richard, that's, I'm sorry. That's, that's where I'm at, though. And I, I didn't plan on making this about Michael Eamons, but that is how I feel. I sit there and think to myself, if a soldier and a policeman cannot stand up to this small group of charlatans, 
they're leading the pe British people into the, in the gutter because nobody other than me is going to stand up to these people. Elizabeth was getting death threats from the pure positive crowd over there for putting a, a shock collar on her dog. <laughs> so I don't take any of their attacks personally. But bravery is learned. If you guys don't, I'm the least likely person on the planet to be brave enough to stand up to these people. If you said they told you to shut up a long time ago. Yeah, they told me to shut up about a month ago. If you said, no, I didn't shut up. If you said, well, they've uploaded a lot of footage of their e-collar work since a month. They haven't uploaded a single e-collar video since a month ago. That's where it's at, though, Mike. You need to start a motivational group. And maybe we can just have like a private Facebook page or whatever where we can give them all advice. We collect dues and we solve all of their fucking problems on this Facebook page. So let's do it. It's called motivational e-collar training or whatever. These people don't even use food. They don't even use food. These e-collars, they use 40-foot lines in 10-foot rooms. The dogs look afraid. They don't use food. If you said that's like a plumber that came to your house and instead of lo looking at your sink, was in the refrigerator drinking your beer. Yeah, that's what it's like. You know, going out there. But, you know, it's, it's very, anybody can do it. When people say to me, I don't use e-collars, that doesn't help anybody. What if I said I don't need them anymore? I used to use them. There's a difference between a dog trainer and a developer, and I'm a developer. So the world needs developers. There's plenty of dog trainers out there, per se. If you said they're literally a dime a dozen, literally. Supposedly in North Carolina, there's three trainers for every hunting dog. Yeah, literally three trainers for every hunting dog in the state. <laughs> so if you said it's tough competition, yeah, you better know how to train hunting dogs or you're probably gonna be going out of business. He said, look at that one guy. I can't think his, his name was actually Hunter. His first name was Hunter. He was a hunting dog trainer. And he ended up being like some big scammer, sold the dogs or something. But it's, it's just, it's that simple though. Even if you just said, I'm just going to use it like that as a motivational tool. Anyway, I'm going to actually go out there and train, but I really, I did. I, you know, am I wrong, Richard? I, I, you've seen these people that are too scared to get out there and take a bite. Do you, you know how you feel about these people, Richard. These sort of, I call them half men. A lot of them work at Lowe's. Oh, hi, Luigi. They work at Lowe's. They're not real men. I can actually beat them in arm wrestling. But when you tell them to put a sleeve on, they're very, very scared, and they don't want to get out there. And they're good just to throw raw meat out there for the dog, but they're not going to really be able to do much decoy work because they're too scared and they just crumple. And... So you have to learn to be brave. I didn't understand that until my niece Amanda post posted a thing, but I must have learned to be brave. I've been bullied since I went on YouTube since 2006. They've been telling me to stop using the collar. If I was any good, I wouldn't need it and stop using it because they don't need it. There's somebody on YouTube right now telling me, even after claiming Huskies are hard to train, even after I posted Scarlet's Train to Retrieve All of It, he stands by it. If he said, where's his work? There isn't any. I said, be brave enough to upload something instead of just sitting behind a computer, typing, claiming that you're a dog trainer, but there's no actual proof. There's two kinds of people. And we're talking about 2019, the fact that this association, if they're that good, they can hire professional camera crews to help sort of sum up their methodology. It's all shit footage. Them holding a camera, they don't even have a camera person. They don't even have a camera grip. They can't even make a, de can't even make a decent video. You're not gonna sit there and claim to be a technical trainer. If you said why, technical trainers have some mastery of tech. It's that simple. If you said there's no way, so if you said if it's 100 yards away, that's going to be the same. Yeah. If you said I, my dog was 100 yards away, I just shout. 
I get tired of shouting. I get tired of shouting from a scientific viewpoint that does not. Oh, hi, Sarah. Sarah, let's get you a pager and I'll help you. I don't know if you were ever, ever able to get with Christopher, but it might even be worth it. I know it, I know it would be a little bit of a trip, but what if you guys took like a weekend trip down to the town where Christopher lives and just did like a couple private lessons with the pager? I think that would be good. And then, and then, then I could help you from home. Anything to just get it in there. If you said, well, Brad and I don't have text each other via cell phone, so that's why we've ruled it out for the dog. <gasps> it's true though, Sarah, I'm the least likely person. I was totally bullied in school. I mean, I, it was, you know, where we lived and everything. I mean, I suffered from this terrible racism. Terrible. Terrible. Called names all the time. I'm the least likely person to be brave. But I must have learned how to be brave if you said why. I learned how to be good at what I do, I guess, maybe. It's true though, Kristen, I, I'm the least likely person. If you said, what if they come on here right now, more of these association adult bully foot soldiers, are they gonna make you? I'll say, who cares? They don't have anything. I'm not just saying that. If you said you've collected their footage, you've put it together, and there's any reasonable person can see there's nothing there. And to the point, Godfrey, you don't even have to show it to him to know that he's going to say it's shit. I know, but I'm still going to get him to do it about Roddy Kirk. I'm still going to get him. Oh, hi, Thomas. I'm still going to get him to do it about Roddy Kirk. If you said these people don't believe anything that I say, they don't believe in using the pager. I do that. So they don't believe in anything I say. If you said, what about look at your videos? They don't even look. There's no need because I'm insane. It is. It's, it's part of the, then there's several reasons. I have an eight week minimum. You're going to have to have a little more detail in eight weeks than two weeks. If you said what? Four times more detail, <laughs> at least. You know, so this girl, Annette, really summed it up. She's been looking. She never felt comfortable moving forward. And that's where a lot of people are. If, if you said not comfortable means afraid, it does. And I would be afraid, too, if I thought, okay, here's what I've got now. And if I hit the wrong button, then it's going to be afraid looking. I don't want that, so... You know, so if you said that's why your work is just so off the chart because you have to have extreme, it's like extreme sports. Yeah, skateboarding was cool, but they had to do more with it. So the pager's cool, but here's what it can really do. You know, got him jumping literally off the page, and I don't completely understand it, but we've known since the 20s devices can augment food drive. And if you said, why do these people not care about, they don't train and drive. <laughs> They don't care about that because they don't train and drive. They don't train and drive. And if they want to come on here and say, we train and drive, I'm going to say, I'm going to need you to show me. And I will then show it to Godfrey, the person who brought me motivational training to this country. And I'll ask him this, this drive because he knows more than me. If he said, what's he going to say? Based on what I already know, that it's the biggest bunch of shit he's ever seen. Anyway, I'm going out there, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm, you're not going to take a little 10-pound Pomeranian thing and put a prong call. You, I just, I try to explain to you, you're not going to be able to jerk these things. The size differential is too great. So if you said, so it's 10 pounds, you're 130. 38 pounds, so you can't jerk something 13 times smaller than you. No, I just, oh. If something was 13 times bigger than me, it would be a 1,300 pound horse. I had that horse of Holly's, if my friend Holly's, I can, she's, I hope she's still on here, but yeah, it was a big Morgan mix. It was, 
Morgan, like the breed of horse Morgan, but it was big. It was mixed with something. So it was real big. It's feet, all everything was real big. And this dumb girl came over, and, you know, these, whenever you have horses, there's always people that want to come over and ride your horses. But she went to come over and feed the horses and she was stupid and walked out in the middle of the field with a bucket. If he said it, it just flattened her. <laughs> It was just that kind of horse. It saw a buck and it just flattened her. So if you said, oh, no, I mean, it wasn't good. I mean, she was okay, but I mean, because of the size differential, it was probably a thousand pound horse. And she was about maybe like a 150 pound girl. <laughs> so it using its strength against something that much smaller resulted in almost a complete catastrophe. It's, I don't know what else to say. So anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to go out there and train. But that's we're talking about results-oriented training. While these people, since all this has happened, and since these people have given me all these death threats and bullied me and then said that they just hate me as a person, if you said, does that bother you? No, because I know I'm a good person, and everybody that really knows me knows that. So... When complete strangers say you're not a good person, that's adult bullies. <laughs> and they now can't attack your work because, one, they don't understand you're even getting that result. But, two, they now have to decide, yes, this this Carmen, I've got to go look up this woman's page. Somebody please go. I just Because I want to just go see if she has any work. Oh, Kristen. That's, and I want you to explain, I want you to use that, to, if you get if you're dealing with people with small dogs if you don't present them with the size differential it could be catastrophic so we have to come up with something better than putting a prong collar on a 10 pound dog if you said they do that oh yeah no they do that mm -hmm. now I'm going to show you that Tyler Muto if you said on a dachshund you I don't know how to explain to these people again if you said well I'll show you that video of those Missouri mules back in the 20s dragging when they used those Missouri mules. The people were literally airborne. Oh, they had that one guy. Remember that video? The guy was spinning the dog around or something? It's been a long time ago, but it was on Facebook. I don't even remember. I don't even remember what it was. I, th I think it was like this guy in Russia or something. Everybody was getting in like an uproar. It was like some old video from Russia, but the guy's like swinging it around and stuff. You know, he said, well, that's what something does if something's that much bigger. And we can't really keep on using, saying constant, we're using it under the guise of communication because it is communicating, but what it's communicating is that your body's under attack. And you're not going to find a scientist that says, oh, this is this guy on, oh, now on Facebook. I, because of the way his name was, I thought he was from India. Oh, my God. So I said, your country's 40 years behind. If you said you weren't paying close enough attention and his name is, he's now stating my name is just a bunch of random letters. If you said now what I said, you're just a random nameless, faceless person. He'll never be brave enough to upload a video. It's true. You can't, and Elizabeth, you can't waste time arguing because she's being bullied now by these same people telling her, you know, just bullshit because they're not, they're not even uploading anything. And she's having to say in six weeks, the difference is unbelievable. If you said, what's the best thing? To just keep uploading footage. Because you'll look back yourself and say, how was I going to get to do that? That's what I... To me, it sort of seems normal now that they all pick everything up. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it happened. I used to have a recycle bin and... It was full of water bottles, and every time they ran out the door, they would take them out there, so my whole yard was full of water bottles. <laughs> I can remember that one video, and the puppy just started doing it on its own. That's how I started doing it with the puff age. I can show you. Just started doing it on its own. If you said, so you presented situations and exploited them, something. Anyway, you guys, that's what it is. I'm the least likely person. If you said you're afraid of any of these trainers, if you said there's an e-collar trainer going to come on here and start technically ripping, what's to rip apart? They can't go literally go any faster on the recalls. They're probably actually going too fast now. They can't. They pick up things just by looking at them. It's I have the support of people like Godfrey. There's nobody... If you said somebody's gonna come out of nowhere, 
Oh, Volker knows. She's, she's been through it. And Volker's the husband. I know that now. I, I want you to know, Marguerite, I actually thought Volker was the dog. <laughs> I don't know anything. I really don't. I thought the guy was with random letters was from India. I can't see anything. I... That's why I'm the least likely person to be brave, but there has to be a lot of detail to work or it isn't modern. It's not modern. If you said, well, there didn't used to be that much detail in houses either. I know the detail is in houses is unbelievable. If you said, well, give me just the detail in lighting fixtures. When I had this house built, I had to go down to the showroom and I don't if you said, how the hell did you pick out these ugly lighting fixtures? I have no fucking idea how I picked out these ugly fixtures. But there was all these fixtures hanging all there together. And you had to pick out the... If you said there was just so many choices, I still don't know how... It, this, it's, this shit looks like stuff from a medieval castle. This stuff hanging down. and I got rid of it. I'm getting LED lighting and stuff put it down. But eh, it was 10 years ago, whatever. But... You know, if, if the, the detail and we're, the world needs vertical skill. The e-collar needs people with vertical skill. If you said, what is vertical skill known for? Extreme detail. So that's not true. I mean, if, if that isn't true, then, then I would say then go with these other people in the remedial work. But I don't think you will find any people that will say vertical skill is very much needed in today's world in the technological field you need people with vertical skill not a jack of all trades i use a head halty i use a chain collar i use a prong collar i use an e-collar i use just a pager and so the detail in the vertical skill it's 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 like anything uh, it's the detail the devil's in the detail, and nobody's going to say that's not true about dog training. And you're going to have to have, you won't, people only live so long. Oh, hi, Kevin. Let's get you going with the climb this week, and I, your daughter's going to be great at it. And I, I wasn't kidding about that chicken. That gif I posted, that's my actual pig. If you said, what's the lesson I can learn from that gif, Kelly? I sold that clip. If you said, how does your pig appear as a gif? I'll tell you, Kevin, I probably sold that clip of that pig for $250. If you, no, that's stupid. I shouldn't have sold it. I shouldn't have sold it. Don't you see? I shouldn't have sold the clip. I shouldn't have said, ooh, $250 for this clip. It might have been more. It was worth more if I would have held out. Oh, they know they can trick dumbasses. They look at your page, they say, oh, this is the only video they have. They got one chicken. Let's get them to sign, and here's what you don't sign. Never sign an exclusive contract. If you said, what do you sign? The non-exclusive. If you say it's non-exclusive, where do I sign? Here's my PayPal. <laughs> if it's exclusive, don't sign. And I've actually done it where I was able to get more money out of them. Yeah. I had this TV show from Japan gave me $500 for two YouTube clips. This was like when I first started. I was like, oh, yeah, they were very, you know, I'll show you. Oh, my God, I still have the clip. They sent it to me. It was two clips. One was of it playing the guitar, and one was it playing the piano, and they juxtaposed them. And I don't speak Japanese, but if you said, what did I think they were saying? I think that they were saying... It looks to us like it's the same behavior. <laughs> They're smart in Japan. You can't pull anything past these people. So they juxtaposed the piano and the guitar, and it looked like I'll have to get somebody. That, oh, maybe my Uncle Ralph. He won't be able to hear it, though, but I'll have to get somebody that speaks Japanese to say, what exactly are these people saying? Because what it looked like they were saying was, we're on to her. It's, <laughs> it's playing neither the guitar or the piano. It's just stomping its feet. <laughs> I'm serious though, Kevin. I, this just be all great family fun. We get this thing because I, I think you could. I think you can get it playing it with its beak, with its feet. I think it could do it with its feet though. I think there's a couple that do it. If you said, "Well, if there's other ones that do it, should we abandon that?" No. Twenty years from now, they'll recycle this pig videos. I'll be dead by then, but they'll be recycling the videos. 
I've given my YouTube to my niece Amanda. She'll, her great grandchildren will be garnering, will be living off the revenue of these pig videos. Thirty years from now, I'll be dead. If you said, "What about you?" You'll be living off your great grandchildren. Yes, Selena's great grandchildren will be living off the revenue of this piano playing chicken. Anything. If you said, "What do we need?" This is my idea. First, we get Selena to dig out some of her old doll clothes. If she said like you did with your pig, put hats and shoes and shit on it, uh-huh. <laughs> I've learned this is crucial in the viral pet video world, Kevin. We dress it as though we believe it's our fur or feather child. <laughs> I've got one. I, it just came up as a memory. It's called Chunky Pig in Pajamas. It was an attempt to cover up Thimble's weight loss after she had started drinking and gained a lot of weight. She just wore pajamas on stage. <laughs> anyway, that's what we can do, I promise you. And if you said, there is a place, I'll send you the links. There's a place called Rumble, and there's a place called News Flare, and these are the people that pander my videos for me. And if you said, what do you do? You just upload them to them, and then they'll ask you. And with them, I do think it's a good idea to sign the exclusive contract. If you said, they'll pay you forever. They've got my one video, Father Teaches Puppies to Swim. If you said that's what's really going on in the video. No, 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 that's not what's really going on. <laughs> if you said, does that matter? So if this chicken isn't really playing the piano, do I need to worry about lawsuits? No, no. You need to just worry about putting a title that says chicken plays piano. You've seen it in the dog training world. Person trains dogs, whereas that's not really what's going on. <laughs> but the people believe it. If he said so, no one notices this father in the video has no testicles. No, two people did notice. One redneck said, ain't got no balls. I blocked him real quick. And one other girl said, was the father recently neutered? <laughs> I said, anyway, forget about that. Bottom line. Don't sign up exclusive, but there is. And Kevin, I mean, if you want to do this for a living, my advice to anybody is have mul multiple sources of income. And if you said so, these viral videos, especially for my daughter and our whole family, is going to be a good source. It is. It really is. I, I got a, a message from Rumble that said, oh, new revenue, or no, it's, it, this is what they send you an email. New earnings have been posted. If you say, what do you do? <laughs> Where's Rumble? And if you said, what was it? AOL had picked up, I th honestly think it was the Chunky Pig and Piano thing, and I got $1,000. If you said, just out of nowhere. Yes. If you said, what did you say? Jesus, AOL can afford that. Anyway, I'm going out there to train, but listen, let's get together later and do do the climb because I think Selena can do it. I think you can direct her and she can do it probably better than you. Mm -hmm. No, I do. Kids can do it better. You can be the training director and it's easier to do it that way. It's easier to see. If you said it's hard to see when you're doing it, it is hard to see when you're doing it yourself. That's why I film everything. In that one video, Kevin, I think that in my mind... I'm reacting like Wonder Woman. I see the dog taking off, and in my mind, boom, I put it in slow-mo. I was like, what the hell? This is what it looked like in slow-mo. <laughs> I swear to God, in my mind's eye, I thought I was snapping it like Wonder Woman getting gone. In slow-mo, <sighs> and if you said, what happened? Until I got my head turned back around, I couldn't go forward. And I wanted to understand that about dogs, too. Until I got my head turned back this way, I couldn't go forward. Anyway, I'm going to go out there and really train, but let's think about all these things. Tell Selena, where's those old damn doll clothes? Where's all those damn Barbie clothes of all those bar Barbies and shit you had to have? Oh, no, Annette. Oh, no. Listen, I'll go find the exact video. It's called The Alex Effect. This is my plan anyway. If the dog takes off, the handler goes directly north. The dog goes south, jockey yourself, so you're going north. So I'm out there in my mind's eye. Uh, the Wonder Woman theme music is playing, and this dog is fast as hell. Some shepherds are fast. This thing takes off in my mind's eye. Pshoo! I set it back in slow-mo, Annette. This is what it looks like. Huh? I swear to God, I, was, I told Mike, it's like, it's painful to watch it because in my mind's eye, I thought, boom, boom, it's gone, I'm gone. It wasn't like that at all. <laughs> it wasn't like that at all. 
It was, it's gone. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll tag you, girl. But that's why you have to film everything. And I, do, I don't even want, if you want to just film stuff and send it to me, girl, that's what a lot of people do. Because I'm only viewing you as the handler. I'm not viewing you as Annette, the person I'm criticizing. And that's where people go wrong. Because you should always address the person in the video as the handler. Because that's, that's what you're doing. If you're trying to be a better handler, the person in the video is the handler. Not Annette. It's not Annette. It's not Kelly. If you said post a bunch of Kelly videos where the handler... Oh, my God, girl. The Kelly videos where the, the handler's feet are... Because I'm naturally pigeon-toed. If you said that, you got teased about that, too. Yeah. Thank God I didn't have buck teeth and wear glasses. I, I wouldn't be here now. I didn't wear glasses back then. <laughs> but I was pigeon-toed and... yeah. So, in the videos, I see all the time that my feet are turned inward. If you said, that's now why you're always saying, do this, do this. Look, girl, this is what I'm using. This is what I'm using. So, go get this thing. It's $15 on Amazon. And then this thing is like another. If you said, what are these chew marks? I know, right? <laughs> this thing is like another. I know that's backwards, but it says you Lindsay. So you gotta get this exact thing for your phone. And then I'm carrying it like this. And then a lot of those videos where the dog is running at the camera, I, it's set on the ground like this. And if you said, well, how do you get them to run at the camera? Put your $1,000 camera on the ground. They'll go straight for it. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Put your $1,000 phone on the ground. And they'll go right for it. So that's how I'm getting that shot. It's, I'm setting the camera down in this thing. And it's, they're running right at it. <laughs> you know, yeah, anything, anything, set anything down. Oh, you know, they've got those things. You know, you've seen that thing, those selfie things that you put on the top of your phone. That there's like something on there, like, so the dog is looking at it. Uh, you can do it like that. I've got this, it would be like this. But I mean, if you said, well, you better be pretty goddamn good. Or if it grabs it, yeah, you better be pretty goddamn. That, that helps motivate you. You say to yourself, oh my God, oh my God, it's headed for my $1,000 camera. Oops. Uh -oh. But honestly, if you said, well, if I put this little thing on top of the grip, yeah, that's level Jedi. Don't try that shit yet, though, girl. But do you see how they'd run right for this shit? Oh, God, they're going to run right for it. There's your camera right there. So that's how I'm getting that shot. And that's, I'm pioneering that shot too, girl. If you said these other people are doing that shot where the dog is right into the camera. The dogs aren't even going fast enough to do that. The dog isn't going fast enough to even do these shots. So anyway, girl, you're on Team Kelly. What I want to do is just do some short, maybe ones that we can transcribe. And I can just cut and paste whatever you write. And so we can do it in German. So we can help people understand what we're doing here. I don't blame other people for not liking the electric collar based on what they're seeing. You didn't feel like, you, I mean, you, these, those people weren't motivating you. Yeah, those people weren't motivating you to get out there and do any videos or anything. Am I wrong? Was anybody saying get out there and get a video? Nobody. I'm the only one saying it. Get out there and create some content. That's what we have to do, you guys. That's what's gonna produce facts. If I can get you out there, Annette, and this girl, Elizabeth, she's, she's just a mom. I don't want to minimize that, just a mom, but she's not a trainer. She's a, she's a mom that has dogs, and, you know, their family likes working with these dogs. If you said they liked putting them in a place and hitting them with constant, no, they figured out they didn't like that. <laughs> they figured out that one ain't fun. You know, so it's, uh, if I, you know, she's already out there. She's got these dogs doing everything. If you said, what kind of dog? Bull Terriers and a Whippet. They're the least trainable dogs on the planet. And she's done all this in six weeks. So if you can get out there six weeks from now and be doing all this stuff, that's what makes it worth it to me. These, if these other trainers, they're not motivating anybody. They're not telling you to get out there and make some footage and we'll help you get better. They're saying, look at me talk. Look at me talk. 
what would Jeff do? That Jeff Gelman, this guy is it's so annoying. He has some kind of God complex. If he said, why? Because he puts WWJD, like what would Jesus do? Yeah, I think that's a little God complex, don't you? Why would anybody come up with that exact phraseology? What would Jesus do or what would Jeff do? All in the same thread. So if you said now they're trying to suck in the Bible belt, something. <laughs> Not working for me, though. Anyway, all right, girl, get your camera grip. Go on Amazon. It's 15 bucks. This thing is maybe another 10 bucks. So we're not talking about a huge investment here. And I've got it set back. Don't set don't set it all the way to the front like that. It's if you set it back a little bit, if they do run into it, they tend to run into that part. They tend to run into that part. And then if it takes a little bit of a tumble, you're still okay. But get an otter case too. Get an otter case. Too. All right, guys, I'll be right back.